How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is going to be in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, that we are going to have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what it is that you are really wanting in your heart of hearts. It has to do with your creativity and your creative vision. It has to do with the children in your life as well, or you feeling like a big kid. It is also connected to risks and gambling as well. Now, if there was ever a time not to go with risks of any kind, if there ever was a time when gambling would not be advised, it really is in the days around this full moon, which happens right around the 12th. So it is at this time that we've just got energy here that is inviting you to play it more safe. With Neptune speaking with this full moon in a connection of tension, it can speak to disappointments, it can speak to losses or just a lack of clarity all around. And so where possible, it's better to take a more practical approach. This may also not be the time to make important and consequential decisions around the children in your life, particularly your own children. Uh, it may not be um, very obvious or very clear. The information you're getting on which to base a decision may not be accurate as well. So if you can give it even just a few days moving beyond uh, this full moon, either a little bit earlier or a little bit later, you start to move out of the energy that does suggest that lack of clarity that could be here. And where it is that you are a person who uses your creativity to your advantage, perhaps you have important creative projects in the works, do not launch at this full moon. It may not be the time to do so. It is uh, better to look at a few other days that are happening just before and after in order to move yourself forward in regards to how it is that you use your creativity for your professional advancement. So let's talk about that because the very big news this month has to do with Jupiter. Jupiter is going to change signs in the first days of the month. Now, of course, be on the lookout for Jupiter special horoscopes, which will be up on YouTube. And of course, the special horoscopes on my website for free in the superstar space as well. All of that is available to you. But for this month, I am truly very excited about this because it is Jupiter now moving into a part of the sky that has to do with what is happening on deeper layers of soul, of psyche and spirit. And it is truly significant what is happening now because it isn't just about what's happening now, but the fact that now and in the 12 months ahead, this is essentially setting you up for a truly bold and bright and new beginning happening at the end of 2020. I'll talk about that in the 2020 video. Be on the lookout for that as well. Having said all that, right now, your power is in spirit and in intuition. Your power is focusing more on the inner life, on your faith, on your spiritual connection, on plugging into source. That is where some of your best ideas and some of your biggest blessings are going to come. This is a part of the sky that has to do with karmic closure, but it is also connected to karmic blessings as well. And if you wanna know what a karmic blessing looks like, and if you wanna work with this energy to your advantage, I would invite you to do so right around December 8, 9, 10. We are going to have in the middle of the month a gorgeous energy taking place between Jupiter and your modern ruling planet, Uranus. It is this very alignment that is truly special and rare. And for you, because it involves your ruling planet, it makes it that much more personal as well. Whether it's an inner shift or practical gains that are set to be made, that is happening for you this month. But if it is that you wanna be proactive with this energy, you do that in the dates I just mentioned. However, if it is that you're just gonna go along for the ride, go with the flow, that's a really good way to take it as well because it is going to be Christmas day that we are going to have a solar eclipse that will welcome an eclipse season that'll take us into a brand new decade once we get into January. 
But for now and for this month, that solar eclipse is so special. It is so powerful. It will be happening hand in hand with Jupiter. Now, when the sun meets Jupiter in the sky, this is thought to be the luckiest day of the year. But the sun meeting a solar eclipse in the sky just adds that much more energy, excitement, and electricity. Yours is the sign of electricity. So this should be very comfortable for you. Either it is going to be an awareness that changes your life for the better, something you didn't realize about yourself or about some other external person or circumstance ends up being just the thing to unleash massive blessings in your life, or whether it is that some truly lovely karmic reward finds you, this really does mark a special turning point for you. With this eclipse, the best thing you can do is be open. Now in general, as a general principle, being open is a good idea at eclipses. It's not so much about what you are putting into place. It's more about where it is that you're allowing multiple pathways from which the universe to bless your life, to bring blessings towards you. However, with this eclipse happening in a part of the sky that has to do with acceptance and receptivity, the idea of not trying to push, but rather to allow becomes that much more uh, of an advantage to you. And I would say, I truly do believe with this eclipse for all of us, it is about aligning us with something better than we could imagine for ourselves. And for you, given where this eclipse is taking place, that better than you can imagine, really, it's like coming out of nowhere, coming out of left field but is so much better than anything that you are planning right now. So around these days of the solar eclipse, just stay open, right? The last 10 days of the month or so, just allow yourself to go with your intuition, to go with the flow, do what's in front of you to do that you have to, but it's not necessarily the time to be taking the reins, but rather it is the time to know that great things are already truly arrived for you. You just have to show up for it. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm coming back to that full moon because it is love that's a little bit, uh, a little bit flowy, a little bit not so clear on the days around the full moon, but then things change, dramatically so. And that is because right around the 20th of the month, Venus will enter your sign. And that is also energy you'll be taking into the new year with you. With Venus in your sign, it really does represent uh, one of the best times to attract love, to feel love, to nurture the love in your life. So if it is that you're open to meeting someone new, with all that confusion, uncertain energy around the full moon, it is possible that you could connect with someone, you could have a flirtation with someone, but either all is not as it seems, um, or it is also possible that you are looking at some of your own fears and questions within you as part of a flirtation that does arise. Now, regardless of what happens, it really is okay. It is what it needs to be because once we have Venus in your sign, that really is going to be a brand new start for you where it isn't about you needing to do anything, needing to be proactive. Love has a way of just showing up for you. And for those of you who are just getting to know somebody, look, I do think that the first three weeks of the month, there's so much all or nothing energy, including at that full moon. If it is that what is transpiring with this person is solid, well then that will carry you through, that will be revealed. We have Venus meeting Saturn, Venus meeting Pluto happening as well, again, in the general bracket of the full moon. However, if it is that this is not the person for you, it is going to dissolve, especially by the time we get to the full moon. And once we get to Venus in your sign, you start attracting new people into your life uh, as well. So you will know that there are options available to you where it comes to matters of love. If your intuition is telling you that something's not right with this person that you've just started getting to know, it is a good idea to trust it with a sky like this. For those of you who are in an established bond, I think for you, the energy of Venus is going to be that much stronger. Yes, we have that full moon, but it's more about romance and where it is that you're hoping your partner will sweep you off your feet. You're kind of setting yourself up for some disappointment there, I'm sorry to say, but where it is that you are uh, staying focused on 
what needs to be done around that time, especially internally, especially with all this beautiful closure energy happening, all this karmic reward energy happening. If you stay focused on that, by the time we get you to Venus in your sign, it's like your partner just all of a sudden, poof, turns into this much more loving, much more easygoing person. Uh, and that can truly be very lovely for you. What I love about this month for you, well, of course, Jupiter is one part of it. Jupiter changing signs brings blessings to a whole new area of life. And for you, it's big karmic blessings that are on offer right out of the gate. But the other layer of this month is Venus moving into your sign. Venus in your sign is thought to be one of the best time frames to align yourself with your unique definition of beauty. So whether that is a new wardrobe, whether that's trying a new hair color, or whether it's something more permanent like a tattoo or cosmetic procedure, all of that very blessed with Venus in your sign as a general principle. Now there are gonna be some interesting alignments. Well, one in particular, Venus speaking with Uranus, that is a day you kind of want to avoid, but I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, of course. But for now, as a general principle, having Venus in your sign just makes life that much more enjoyable, that much more easy, that much more flowing, if you will. You're able to connect with a spirit of pleasure and joy and an understanding that life is meant to be a joy. It's not always meant to be a trudge, right? We're supposed to find balance between moving forward, but also allowing, knowing that great things are possible for us if we work for them, but also know that we alone are enough to experience great things in our life. And Venus in your sign will help you to understand this balance closely by giving you a lot of things that you can appreciate in your life to celebrate and to enjoy. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.